This is FireGod522 with my 14th tutorial. And today I'm making this tutorial because, well, I finally reached 100 subscribers. Thank you guys who subscribed. Couldn't have done it without you, obviously, because I wouldn't have 100 subscribers without being able to subscribe. Anywho, to, um, kind of like a celebratory little contraption thing I made, like, just before this video, I decided, to, oh, well, since my subscribers at 100, I might as well make this. Okay, so today, what I'm going to show you guys is how to make a, um, random owner color, so it basically just, like, randomly colors the owner. Um... There's nothing really more to explain, but if you look at the person who has this expression, he'll change colors repeatedly or whatever. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get our expression tool tool out. Uh, okay, with this out, we're going to go ahead and go to our... Scroll down, new expression. Okay, now, name. I'm just going to name it. Random owner color. If I spelled that wrong... I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And we're gonna get rid of all the other thing, all the other things except for persist, because we're gonna need that for later. That's what we need right now. Okay. Let's go ahead and set O entity. Okay. Now with that, we go ahead and type in run on tick one. This is a real simple expression, so I'm not going to go too much into it. We're going to type in O equals entity, oops, entity, owner. Now, I'm pretty sure you can just do owner, but just to make sure I'm going to go ahead and do entity owner, I'll look into this later. Okay, and so now with that, we basically specified that O equals, like, me, the owner of the expression game. Now let's, now for, to set up the random colors and stuff, we're going to go ahead and type in set, oh, oops, O, uh, colon, set color. We're going to, now we're going to type in random, 255, comma, zero, end parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Put a comma down, paste, put a comma down, paste, close parentheses. And validate it by going down here. Just to show you guys that this will validate it or not. Okay. So now, what this will do is that as soon as we spawn it, it will make me um, randomly change colors. I'm going to go ahead and paste that down. Now, of course, you can't see anything, so I'm going to go ahead and get a camera so you can see from the third version view. By the way, if anybody asks me, you right-click with the camera and it'll follow you around. Okay, and so I change it to this, and I'm randomly changing colors. For some reason, it doesn't want to do it for the gravity gun. Um, so there's not really much for this tutorial, I'm, I'm still kind of working with Expression 2, so if you guys really need tutorials, you're going to have to ask for something a little bit easier because I've gotten an Apply Force tutorial suggestion and I'm still playing with it, so until then, I don't really know. Um, so... Keep on subscribing, guys. I got 100 so far, and it only took about, what, a year or so. So, yeah. That's crap. Um, anyways, this has been FireGuy522 with my 14th tutorial, how, teaching you how to make a random owner colorer. Have fun. Don't burn yourselves.